Hey everyone, Joe here. Now as Easter's almost upon us, I thought it would be worth having a talk about the Easter Bunny. Now in the mythology, it's a hare rather than a rabbit. But here in Worcestershire, we have the brown hare, which is not native to the UK but it is naturalised, as it's been here since the Roman times, if not earlier. In the UK we do have a native hare species, known as the mountain hare, but this can only be found in the north of England and in the Scottish Highlands. The brown hare is commonly twice the size of a rabbit, weighing up to five kilos. Now they tend to have a beautiful golden brown fur with a paler underbelly and a fluffy white tail. Their tips of their ears are also a distinctive black colour. Now hares have very long and powerful legs, allowing them to run up to the speed of 45 miles an hour. They often run in a zigzag pattern to escape pursuing predators. Now unlike rabbits, hares don't live in burrows. They live in what's called forms, in which they scrape out small holes in fields which they can snugly hide in and sleep during the day as they're nocturnal animals. The brown hare is most commonly seen in early spring as this is when their breeding season starts. You can sometimes even see them skillfully boxing. This is when a female hare tries to ward off an amorous male hare who's being a bit inappropriate. Now a female hare can have between three and four litters per year with each litter containing between two and four young known as liverets. An interesting fact is that hares can even conceive a second pregnancy while already pregnant. Let's touch on the hare's connection to the Easter Bunny. This dates all the way back to the old Celtic holiday for the goddess of spring and fertility, Ostera. Now they believed her sacred animal was the hare, and as time and tradition moved on, we still hold this belief that the hare is a symbol of nature's rebirth in spring. As times change, the word Ostera morphed into Easter, which you know today, but is still celebrated on the first full moon after the spring equinox. So as you can see from this, again, history and culture is as heavily connected to nature, giving us yet another reason to help conserve and restore nature across Worcestershire. So I hope everyone's enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.